Hello trainers, welcome to our basic tools and materials course. I wanted to take a couple of minutes and go through what's available in this course. It's fairly comprehensive. It's a lot of introduction into things, whether that's construction materials or tools, hand and power tools that the students need to know. There's a lot of lessons in here. This section starts with materials and what's covered is everything from dimensional lumber several lessons on that into engineered materials. These are basically wood-based engineered materials. It moves on to fasteners, that's nails and screws, a lot of details into those. Each one of these lessons has a quiz that's asso associated with it that the students should complete. And there are no skills exercises in the materials section here. It moves on to basic hand tools. And what you have here is a literally an introduction, a presentation of these different tools, various tools that are common to construction, what they do, uh, the terms used to uh, explain them or to describe them, and even a short mini lesson on utility knives is included in here as well. So a lot of quizzes along the way. You get into more specific tools later on in this section where there's a hammer lesson and it uh, not only introduces the hammer, but talks about ways to use it, different types of hammers, what they're used for, techniques to make it work properly. There's a quiz that's associated with that lesson. And then there is a skills exercise that follows up on the speed square uh, or the fastener board project that had this, the speed square skills exercise done on it that creates grids that now fasteners can be driven in this skills exercise with a hammer. So make sure when you're doing this skills exercise, you present the students with different types of fasteners. Each type of fastener may require a different hammer and will definitely uh, challenge the students to use different techniques to drive them. This section is all about common power tools used in construction. Students should not only know how to identify these by name, but they should know what the purpose of each one of these tools is in building. Uh, moving on from that lesson, it, this section carries to the cordless drill, an important power tool we use all the time. Uh, that lesson also covers impact drivers for obvious reasons, a very similar tool. And it moves on from that lesson to driver bits, different types of driver bits and the fasteners that they mate with, and also drill bits, all of the different types and styles of drill bits and how they work to bore holes. So the uh, quizzes will happen throughout after each one of these lessons. And there is a skills exercise for this, for this section that uh, requires students to practice use of a cordless drill, driving and removing fasteners on their fastener board. If you remember, that started as speed square uh, skills exercise. It moved to hammer practice. And now we're using our cordless drills to uh, fill out those grids with different types and styles of fasteners that would be used with a cordless drill or an impact driver that would work great as well. This last section is for you, the instructor only. These resources are hidden to students, but they're available to you to help teach this to students. There's a lot in here from a master vocabulary list, which aligns with their glossary terms and their key terms that they're presented with throughout the course. Uh, there's also presentations that follow the uh, videos that the students have watched. Any of the skills exercises will have plan sets available to you in here. And also there's even a review video for the skills exercise explaining to you as a trainer why this is important and some tips and tricks on how to get it done with your students effectively. So a great course. Good luck with it. I'll see you in the next one.